Hello there, running ears. It's Manny again, and we just had some big news drop. That's why I'm wearing this, and we're gonna probably have some other news be dropping within the next few weeks, right before Thanksgiving or right around Thanksgiving. So before we do, uh, guys, the channel keeps growing thanks to you. A lot of these questions are going, a lot of this video is going to be because of questions that you ask, including the video because I am going to do another training video at the very end. We are going to go out there and we're going to run and we're going to talk about a topic. But thank you guys. So please, please, please keep subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, it really helps the channel out. And uh, keep asking your questions either here or on social media. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, this is this channel keeps growing thanks to you guys remember this is your channel continue asking because this is a reason that this channel exists but let's get right to it so first off we had this bit of news that dropped which I'm not the biggest knowledgeable person about this but Lululemon is now going to be one of the sponsors one of the uh, partners with run Disney and so I looked up and found this article so this reads that Disney and Lululemon's first ever active wear collaboration plus vintage Mickey and Minnie Mouse in motion. It also gives a price range, but as you can tell, there's a lot of different things from $48 to $156. Apparently, there is going to be the best-selling yoga and running essentials, which again means that Run Disney fans, especially Run Disney fans of Lululemon, are so, so excited about this. So guys, as you can obviously see i'm not the biggest when it comes to fashion i often think to myself i need to hire somebody to do the fashion segment because i'm not very good at it i just kind of like to talk about it but i don't know a lot about it but i've never bought any of the lululemon but from what i understand reaching out to a few of you guys uh you loved it you guys love it uh i might give it a shot somewhere down the line but i'm understanding now that some of the uh, some of the stuff sold out and it's out on resale and people are upset about it. The people who got it are so happy that they got it. Again, I don't know enough about it to keep commenting on that. But what are your thoughts? Do you like the Lululemon? Do you want to be the spokesperson of Lululemon on this channel from now on? So the next bit of information that really dropped, which was the exciting one, is that we now have the theming for the upcoming, for the 2025, the Halloween Disneyland Halloween Run Disney Weekend. Let's take a look. So first we have the collaboration of the whole weekend, which looks awesome. Then we move to the 5K, which is Ursula. This is $130 for the 5K. We move over to the 10K, which is Cruella de Vil, and this is $185. We move on to Maleficent for the half marathon, $270. The challenge is pain and panic. Uh, this is $450. The kids run is Dr. Hook, and of course we have Peter Pan. This is $45 for the kids. And then we have yoga in front of the castle, which is 140. And now we got the last of the collaboration. So guys, we looked at that with the prices. The prices went up about $10 each, roughly is what I was able to tell from last, uh, last year. So I'm gonna go over the theming one by one. So first off, we had Ursula for the 5K. Ursula is an awesome character. It's funny because sometimes people start thinking, and even I think this, uh, yeah, she's overused, and then you watch The Little Mermaid and you go like, damn, she's good. <laughs> so I have to say, this is a good choice. I love Ursula. I think she's an awesome villain. So this is a great choice. Next up is a 10K. The 10K is Cruella. And if you look at the designs, they got the, the 101 Dalmatians or the puppies and stuff. I thought that would be a good medal if they could kind of put in there some, maybe the paws, maybe the puppies like uh, as the mini spinners. I thought that would be a really, really cool one. But I like the way they made her look kind of dark, you know, looking away. And it, I thought that was really, really cool. And I think this is another good choice. So next up is the half marathon. And we got Maleficent. Maleficent is one of those characters from Sleeping Beauty. She's got this longevity. She's got her own movie. Uh, she's got her haters. She's got her lovers. She's the anti-hero. So I, I mean, it's one of these that is, it, she's gonna continue being popular. So I can see this for the half marathon. I think it's a great choice. I'm gonna look at what are they gonna do with the medals? That, that, that's what I'm starting to think. What, are they, what can they do with this medal? I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very colorful, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be a spinner if it's gonna be a bounce, something like that. I think it could only be a spinner. I don't think bouncers would do with the Halloween uh, theming. And last, we got my favorite. The challenge is gonna be 
pain and panic. You guys have been watching the channel know that I I have I said it over and over and over. Hercules is long overdue. He's going to be for springtime surprise. Well, guess what? The next one we're going to have is pain and panic. That's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. I love pain and panic. I actually was there at the party at the Oogie Boogie earlier this year and they were out taking pictures and I didn't know because they don't have the the uh, characters. They don't have the characters on the map. So you have to kind of pass by to see who's there. And when I passed by and I saw them, I got in line. And right before I got in there, they moved out. They brought in Prince Eric, who is a great character also, but I prefer Pain and Panic. So I'm looking forward to this because I want to get the pictures with Pain and Panic. I think that's a great one. Uh, long overdue, I think it's a great thing. And for the kids, of course, they have Dr. Hook, but because it's children, they have Peter Pan. He's kind of in the background, but I think it's a great, great, great theme. Uh, kids just love Peter Pan. They love getting on the ride. So I think this is a great theme. And of course, I cannot move on without talking about yoga. I've never done it before, but this is the one I'm actually thinking about. Uh, hopefully it'll be cool and it's in front of the castle. There's a limited amount of space. You saw the pricing. I'm considering it uh, since I am Club Run Disney. I get signed up to the challenge before. I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna try to get into the 5K. But yoga, let's see. One of these days, I am gonna try it because I want to just check it out. But those of you who have done yoga, what do you think? Do you do you recommend it? Is it something you suggest? Uh, let us know. So also, guys, because this past year was so darn hot, do I think it's gonna be a repeat? I have no earthly idea. I know that in California, they have been getting hotter in the summers, but remember this, the week before and the week after the runs, it was actually relatively cool, especially to start the races. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that that's what we get next year because it was extremely hot. There's just no way of knowing. So if you guys are gonna sign up for this run, just have it in the back of your mind that it's going, it's a possibility that it's going to be hot and you're gonna to have to adapt your training. I mean, you're gonna be training in the summer anyway, but adapt your training to make sure that you understand that it's gonna be hot. So the only other thing I was gonna say is that it's Halloween run and we had the hitchhiking ghost this past year, but they're not in the next year. So I always think to myself, there's a good idea that you, you want to keep at least one of the medals or one of the themings constant. I think it's a great thing. It's kind of like Mickey for uh, the, the marathon weekend. Uh, they, uh, basically, they're all for the marathon weekend. They're the same. I thought you could at least have one every weekend that's going to be like, uh, it's going to be consistent. The only ones I could think of that might, you know, break that mold is Princess and Springtime Surprise. But the rest of them you can. Hitchhiking Ghost, I think, would be great. It would be great to have them there. And the other thing, too, is that we didn't get to run by them this uh, uh, by Haunted Mansion this year because they were doing the refurb. So there's a good chance that next year we will be able to run by them, even though they're not going to be uh, on the medal. They're not going to be one of the themes. So I thought that was a little bit uh, ironic. I still love the theming, but I also think to myself, it would have been really, really cool if we had the Hitchhiking Ghost while we're running you know it, it's it's uh, it's a medal that we're going to be running to and we get to see that right there the characters are there i think that would be amazing but um again it is what it is uh are you guys going to sign up for it because we got a couple weeks for uh club run disney which i'm now a member of so i get to, to uh, register early i'm going to do a video on how to register the tips and tricks and so forth and so on because the mere mortals get to do that the following uh, week and guess what i'm going to be a mere mortal trying to get into the 5k so uh, I'm gonna give you guys my tips and tricks. I'm gonna have that video, but the good news is now that I'm Club Run Disney, I can record a little bit more and I can be able to give out a few little bit, uh, a little bit more of information that you guys can have ready. So that way, once you go to register, you're ready. You might even be able to copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. But uh, that video is coming up. So like I said earlier, there was a question that was asked, which I thought was fantastic. I thought it was great. And I thought this was gonna be one of those that we could do while I'm doing my training, because yes, I'm doing my training. And it comes from a, a fan of the channel. The question is, what about uh, you know training for one race uh, versus training for the challenge? What's the difference and so forth? Again, I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna tell you as much as I can. All of this is based on experiences, what I've talked to and stuff. But let's go ahead and take a, uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna go ahead and record uh, this information, so. Hello there, running ears. I'm doing my run, short run today, but uh, getting it out of the way. But uh, I'm going to talk a little, a little bit about a topic that was asked online. But first off, I actually think I'm looking into a different kind of camera. This one's going should be better 
for those of you who watch the run videos if you noticed it seems like it almost regressed with the dark <laughs> the darkness runs or the dark time runs when we start and since i start in the back it's not as much but we do get the darkness so camera that i'm looking into apparently has better uh better night vision so in in a few probably in the next month or so you guys are going to come with me because i'm going to run with both of them right next to each other especially in the dark so you can see and you guys are going to be the, the determinant so you're going to tell me hey it was better it was worse the same whatever it is but uh, i think that's going to be an interesting little experiment that i'll do but with that said the topic of this run which i'm gonna have to get to shortly again is thank you victoria that was an excellent question uh training for one run versus a challenge major differences and i know i've talked about it a little bit not on a really big topic deal but uh, i have touched on it before so today we're going to dive into it because and i like the uh the uh, exam the final exam analogy so we're going to go with that in a little bit so we're going to start off with the with the training for the single run well first off and we're running again and we're by the airport so we get to hear that so anyways when you are running just a single run you sign up for a 10k let's say well you know your distance and you know that one distance so it's almost like you're studying for that one part of history not a bunch of different parts of history so it's a little bit easier i'm not going to say it's easy because uh depending on your fitness level uh you're a beginner you've done it before uh it just depends so i i personally think okay so when you know your your distance the 10k let's say and you know your goal your goal is to pr your goal is to get as many character photos as possible your goal is just to finish well the training becomes easier to figure out not easy to go through it sometimes but it's easier to figure out because if you just want to finish then you go to that uh, train at that 15 minute pace that disney says too but you know i say 14 minute pace so you give yourself a little bit more of a cushion if you're going to do pictures you're a slower runner than you know you're just accordingly if you're going to pr or you're going to have to get a pace that's faster than you've ever done before but uh you're going to have to get that pace consistently so that's uh that's that so that's a single run one final exam it's going to be a multiple choice so you know basically what you're up against <laughs> so now this is perfect because coming up we have two challenges that's our next run goofy and dopey so the way i look at it is going back to the the exam analogy is if you're doing the dopey you not only ran into something uh you not only have to study for the uh multiple choice but a long essay you're gonna have to study to do a long essay all right if you're doing dopey then you got to study for both of those plus some short essays and maybe a, dis a dissertation so you got a lot to, on your plate so and the way i look at it i'm going to break it down into one is going to be the physical part of it and the second part is the mental part of it that can actually even piggyback on emotional so let's go ahead and start with physical so with physical you're going to have to learn whether you like it or not to run with tired legs you're going to be running on consecutive days so you're going to have to emulate whatever you're doing the best advice i can give you is try to emulate everything you're going to be doing and start now so we're going to go over that shortly but you need to start now on what you're doing what you're practicing so now don't you, you should actually be practicing it but I'm gonna give you some tips to get in a little bit deeper so number one is make sure that you emulate what you're gonna do and of course you're gonna learn how to run on tired legs especially if you're doing the dopey so if you haven't already started you need to learn how to run on consecutive days 
which I'm pretty sure you've already done this. But if you're starting or you're having trouble doing this, what I would suggest is, at least for the meantime, slow down your pace a little bit so that way you can get through it. Walk a little bit more. Try to get as close to the 15 minute per mile and preferably the 14 minute per mile pace so that you can emulate what you're gonna be doing on race day. Another thing that I'm going to strongly suggest right now, it's cool, not cold, but that sun is glaring at us. So right now it's a little warm, even though it's cool, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, so we have a breeze down here, but once we get into the sun, I can feel the heat a little bit more. All right, and a lot of you are gonna be training in the, in the north. So your guys are gonna be training in cold weather. Then you go down to Florida, and again, it's a, it's a toss up of whether it's going to be warm, hot, cold, whatever it is. So I would always prepare for the worst. So if you can, run in the middle of the day, run when it's warmest, even the cool, uh, cool weather. If you have to run indoors, with a little bit warmer so that way you get used to it one thing that you hard it's going to be hard to emulate is the humidity because it could be just like it was a few weeks ago it can be what i call deceivingly cool so what happens is it feels cool so people even wear long sleeve shirts but once the sun comes out the humidity comes up and man uh, you're just boiling up and i got to see a lot of people that we're struggling. So just make sure that uh, you try to emulate as much as possible and practice as much as you can in warmer weather. Doesn't have to be extremely hot, but warmer weather indoors if, if you have to. Another thing physically that you guys are gonna have to work on is recovery. And it's a quick recovery in between runs. So. If you're running on consecutive days, or for Dopey, four consecutive days, you're gonna have to focus on recovering in between. That can come in many, many ways, but the way I break it down is nutrition, hydration, and just rest. So everybody is different. Start practicing right now with nutrition. Things that I like is things that stimulate good blood flow. Uh, anything that has omega-3 fatty acids, vegetables are good. So my go-to before, uh, I cannot, I'm not a nutritionist, so I can't tell you what to eat, but I can tell you what I eat. And my go-to, and I'm about to walk a little bit, is baked salmon with vegetables. That's my go-to, and so, Vegetables are as natural as I can, as raw as I can. Usually makes me feel good. Get a few glasses of water. So that's good nutrition. I also supplement. Again, I can't tell you what to supplement with because I don't know your conditions, if you have blood pressure uh, problems, if you had diabetes, something like that. So it would be something to talk to your doctor about and especially a nutritionist. But uh, I actually supplement with omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, magnesium, which also helps the heart, and coenzyme 10, which actually came from a heart surgeon that I knew, and he was telling me this is what I found best works, and when I use it on a consistent basis, I actually feel a lot better. Next up is hydration. If you've been watching the channel, you know how I feel about hydration. What's going to be funny is about a week or two outside the run people are going to say hey run is a week and a half away start hydrating now my question as a certified running coach go what have you been doing all along that you got to be hydrating on a regular basis so that way you're more prepared in the morning so if you're not hydrating now uh once especially you get to a week or so it's not too late you still could do it but still you didn't give your body as much recovery in your training and you got to do that remember hyd proper hydration not only does it helps 
every body body function but i was about to say not only hates her uh helps not hates helps your muscles but it helps your heart proper heart beat is dependent on good hydration if you're dehydrated the heart cannot function as possible as as efficiently as it should and that's why a lot of people drop out of the runs because they're dehydrated so their muscles aren't getting the hydration they need and neither is their heart and that could be a little bit more dangerous so hydrate 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 next up is rest so everybody is different on this there's people that can they need to keep moving i know people that they go i go to the parks that day i only go for about an hour or two after like even the 10k the half marathon and before the marathon but it's up to you this is when you determine what you can do training it's called training remember you're studying for your final exam so this is when you figure out hey i can do this i can't do that this doesn't work this is what's working so make sure that whatever you're doing that's helping you recover keep doing it now not later things that you can do something is just as simple as resting and kicking your legs up uh staying off your feet especially if they're swollen picking them up like i said foam rolling and nowadays there's so many different kinds of foam rollers including the electronic ones so try different things we're about to turn we're turning and we're going to be hitting the sun so i'm going to do this so <laughs> foam roller the electronic foam rollers even a massage but don't don't schedule a massage in the middle of your runs if you've never done it before whatever you practice do it if you practice it and then you get a massage after the first first day of a long run and the second day your legs feel brand new and you have this great run well you found your formula so then i would start looking to see about getting a massage after your half marathon that would be something that you use but if you can go to the parks and you keep moving and your legs feel great uh, the last day or the next day whatever it is then you got a formula there too so yeah this is when you practice make sure that you practice this right now so i'm stopping again so to walk a little bit actually i'm going to run a little bit because i'm about to hit another mile marker so emotional slash mental this is where people i see a lot of times they defeat themselves before they're even defeated this is why i think training and proper training is so important so you know what you're up against you know what your body can do so you have the confidence to go out and do this and finish a goofy or finish a dopey all right so i have seen i actually just saw in the wine and dine somebody who i was chit chatting with got swept for the 10k so he was defeated but then all of a sudden he did the half marathon the next day and he finished it he overcame a lot there was a lot of us talking to him he had uh he really stood struggle but something happened inside and that something is really really cool it overcomes you overcome that that uh, fear that probably turned to anger that self doubt but right now is when you start working on these if you can finish consecutive days especially when things are not going as planned you don't feel as good it's a little bit warmer that kind of stuff and you finish guess what you've given yourself the self confidence to possibly and hopefully uh see me at the finish of the dopey challenge and the last thing i'm going to touch on is keeping a journal this is the same as taking notes on what's important for that final exam so keep a journal so that way you can see how you're progressing or not and adjust accordingly once you find the formula keep that formula keep practicing that formula whatever it may be if people tell you you're crazy 
hey you know what i've been told i'm crazy most of my life and guess where i'm at so just continue to doing what's working for you if you have any questions for me please reach out to me but what i want to see what i want you guys to do is be ready for the final exam i think that if you train properly you have the right mental state you are going to ace that final exam whether it be goofy whether it be dopey whether it be any other challenge on down the road but we're gonna take it back inside and right now we're just gonna enjoy the view for this little jog on uh on a wednesday or week weekday morning Whew, okay a little bit of recovery here but i think i'm okay so we we're able to get a few miles in but uh that's the information that i have i'm gonna preface this by saying i am not a doctor i am not a registered dietitian i am not a physical therapist so if you have specific questions about uh injuries about what you can eat that's something i cannot help i can tell you what i do but i cannot give you advice i cannot give you medical advice i really do uh, uh urge you if you're really feeling out of sorts or whatever go see your doctor if it's just something in your legs and stuff your physical therapist if you really have questions about nutrition something specific please go and search uh, a registered dietitian a lot of them work at hospitals so if you're part of a hospital system you can go and you can ask them questions now if you have any kind of running questions obviously you can ask them here but I also gonna throw it back at Coach Nick, who I have introduced over the years here at this channel, and he's gracious enough because he is in Florida. Now he's not in California, but he is in Florida. So he has firsthand experience of, of training there. So he can give you the insights of what it is, how the weather is getting closer and closer to the race. And he is nice enough to give a 15% discount. I'm gonna put the information down below use that code whenever you reach out to him of course tell him that you're a fan of the channels uh coach nick is a great great guy he does a lot of the disney runs i think he'll, he's going to be at the marathon weekend also so he's gonna he's one of us so that would be something that you can reach out but if there's any other questions that you might ha guys might have please ask it down below and let's move on so that is it for the information that has come out but i do believe there's going to be information that is coming out pretty soon uh, pretty soon within the next few weeks maybe within the month but I think it's gonna be closer to the next couple weeks is that we're gonna get the metal reveals for princess or 2005 princess so I think that that's coming so be on the lookout for that and of course I'll break it down on one of these videos so somebody actually screamed at me and said Manny what is going on with coast to coast there's no updates when I just looked and it was earlier today there is no updates it is 2024 information I do believe in the next few weeks, I believe by December we should have 2025. Again, it might even be sooner than that, but we should have uh, the tracks to find out how the coast to coast is gonna work, uh, whether it's gonna work uh, the same way as before, which I think it's going to, or if they're going to teeter it or tinker with it a little bit. But I do believe it's gonna be basically almost the same as 2024. Um, so you're gonna be eligible to get two hopefully uh, and again don't quote me on this but i think you're going to be el eligible to get two i don't see the system broken or at least on my part and from what i've heard so i think that they'll continue on and they're going to keep what they had before and the last thing that's going to be coming this one might be a little bit later is going to be the theming for wine and dine registration does not start until february early february so sometime uh, probably between marathon or right around marathon weekend to uh disneyland before disneyland there's going to be the theming i think it's going to break because that's when registration starts and again i'm going to say this because i've said it before and i'll say it again if uh, run disney if you're listening to this we talked about consistent you know medals and stuff for challenges why not make figment the the medal for the challenge from here on out you can change them up you're gonna there's a good possibility that his ride is going to get upgraded and so if they do they can continue moving on with figment but he's become so so popular i think you would get lots of people that come out and sell out so quickly because people love figgy they love getting figgy with it so that's it for this video is there anything i missed is there anything uh, are you excited about uh halloween are you going to register for halloween uh please comment down below keep asking your questions and without further ado create a magical day create a magical run and guys see you sooner than later